In this class, we are going to learn how to invoke any REST API from our Visual Builder application. For this demonstration, I am considering REST countries API. If you just Google or use any search engine and type just REST API countries, you will land into this restcountries.com. Here there are few APIs available that is REST APIs. I am clicking on all. So what we are going to do is we will try to invoke this REST API and fetch the details of all the countries across the globe and display the flag of the country in Visual Builder application along with the country name. Let me switch over to Postman and show you how the response for this API looks like. I have created the Postman project in order to consume this REST API. I have provided the same URL over here slash all. If you see in the response, we are getting the name of a country, official name and the common name and other native names in the regional language and we get other details for the country like independent whether it is an independent country what is the currency also we will get the flag of a country in png as well as in svg format if you want to locate the countries in a google map we can do that over here there is a google map link also available now i will copy this url from here and will consume this in our visual builder application let me switch over to visual builder application in order to consume any REST API in Visual Builder application, we need to create a service connection like how we have seen in the case of invoking integration from Visual Builder. In order to do that, click on the services. Under service connection, as of now, I don't have anything. Let me create one service connection. Click on this plus icon or the create button and select service connection. From the create service connection pop-up, we need to select define by endpoint. Select this and whatever we had copied from our postman client, we need to paste it over here. Or we can copy from this restcountries.com under API, this is the URL which I have pasted in my URL section over here. And the method is get, those details you can get from here, it is get type. Here in the action hint, as this API is returning multiple records, as an array, we need to select get many. If we are getting only one, then it, we have to select get one. I am selecting here get many and clicking on next. I will rename this service name to get all countries data. This I am copying and pasting in title as well so that we can identify our REST API if we have a lot of APIs created under service connections in our application. For this demo, I am creating only one but in actual business use case, you need to provide some meaningful name under service name and as well as in the title. If you scroll down, if you want to transform, you can do that over here. I am going for none. Click on the server. Here, if your API is secure, then you can go for the authentication. You can go for basic authentication or 2.0. If you are consuming any resources in the Oracle Cloud, you can go for API signature 1.0. As this API is not secure, I am leaving this authentication as un. If you are consuming any integration URL over here, then you can go for basic or, or 2.0 as well as per your requirement. Now, before clicking on create, we need to create the schema for this API so that we can consume in the Visual Builder application. I will tell you how we can do that. In order to do that, we need to click on this test. Here we need to click on this send request. It will make the request and get the response same like what we see over here in the postman. As you can see, we have retrieved the data for all the countries when we clicked on this send request. Now we need to click on this save as example response. Click on this button. It will take couple of minutes because it is a huge data it, it has to save and generate the schema. So our schema has saved successfully. You will get a pop-up on the right bottom corner of your screen saying schema got saved successfully. I had paused the video so that I missed that pop-up. So in your case when it is successful you will get a pop-up on the right bottom corner. In case if you are getting a network issue like if your bandwidth is slow or your instance the shared environment and it is taking a lot of time because it has to store a huge data like this in order to generate a schema. In that case you can straight away click on this create and it will take some time and it will generate a schema. We can skip this save as example response step as well. If you get a pop up from the browser whether to wait or we can cancel the load we can click on wait. This will be applicable only if your network is slow or 
if your server is slow due to shared environment. So once done, click on this create. So our service connection is created successfully. Now we have to go to page designer and consume this service connection. Let me minimize this layout so that I get a bigger window to work. Click on this main start. As I discussed at the beginning of this video, I will display the flags of all the countries in this page. In order to display flag for all the countries, I will drag and drop this for each component over here or the layout. Next, I will drop the action card. Drag this and drop it within this for each. As you can see, the action card is now visible over here. Let me change the style of this action card. Let me search for style and I will increase the height and width. So here is the style. I will write the height as height 200 px and width is also 200 px. Just about. If you see, we get the bigger action card over here. Action card I am using because if you want to create any action or events on click of this action card, then you can do it with the help of action card. Again, it's your personal choice. You can play around with the other layouts or the components available over here in the visual builder. Also, you can go for components and import or install any OJ component and that also you can consume. For this demonstration, I am considering action card. Next is to display the flag. I am making use of avatar. Let me search for avatar over here. It's over here. Drag and drop it within this one. Let me increase the size of this avatar. Go to size and increase it to extra large. Done. We will display the name of the country below this flag. For that, I am going to select the text. We will put this text and drop it below. Let's see how it comes. So it's not allowing me. Let me make use of the structure. Drag this text and drop it here. Now select this grid row. Let me remove this flex. So that our text will be over this flag area. Now select this avatar. We need to display the flag. Now go to data. We need to call the service connection and populate this avatar with the flag. In order to do that, we need to create a variable. Go to variables. Click on plus variable. Here I am writing as load countries data. This will be of type SDP. Click on create. With the help of SDP, that is service data provider, we can make a call to any endpoint. Click on this select endpoint. Expand the services, expand, get all countries, get, click on this, all. Click on next. From the response, we are interested in PNG flag and we are interested in the name that is the official name. That's it. Click on finish. Our SDP has been created. If you want to check, this SDP is of get all type. We didn't modify this type name while creating SDP. So if you expand this, here you will see the things what we selected from that type. One is a PNG and the official name. So this is done. Go to page designer. Now we need to assign that SDP variable to our forage. Select this forage from the structure if you are unable to select it from the UI. Currently it is array 1, 2, 3. We need to map it to our SDP variable. Just remove this. It's over here. Just drag and drop it over here. Done. Click on save. So for each, we will repeat for the country's data. Next is we need to assign flag variable or the value available in this array to this avatar. Select this avatar. Click on this. Select the data. So from the response of this get all countries, we need to check the path. So in the array, there is a flag dot PNG. So I'm copying this and I'm putting this dot over here. Flags dot PNG. Just tab out. Sorry, this is under ID I have created. Just I'm removing from here, going to data and I will paste under source. Same thing. Just tab out.
as you can see the country's flag are loading now we need to assign the value to this text with the country name select this bind text or you can select with the help of this structure as well remove this value from here bind text and we'll map this to country's name click select this data go over to this postman response and search for name over here it's over here it will be name dot official select this put the dot dot official just about as you can see now we are getting the flag of the countries along with the name let me preview this application by clicking on this preview button we thank all our subscribers and viewers for showing interest in watching our videos which we post over youtube regularly here is the appeal from our side if you have liked any of our content please support us by buying us a coffee i will provide the link to buy us a coffee in the description of this video when you click on the buy me coffee link it will take you to this screen wherein you can opt for the coffees like one coffee is equivalent to one dollar you can select one three five and you can customize the coffees what you want to offer to us also we do have a membership program click on this membership tab over here and you can opt for the membership and you can watch out the benefits what you get for each membership for more details you can anytime come over here and watch out the details also you can have a look at our courses on udemy we are having two courses on udemy one is learn integration in oracle integration from scratch also we do have a course on oracle visual builder that is to learn from scratch once again we would like to thank you if you have not subscribed our channel previously please do subscribe our channel and please support us As you can see, we are getting the list of all the countries flag as well as their name. Just scroll down. We can see the list of all the countries flags. So like this, we can invoke any REST API with the help of Oracle Visual Builder. This was just a demo in real life case. You will have complex use case wherein you have to invoke lot of REST APIs while building a Visual Builder application.